The final review is going to be on the Studio Series Core Class Autobot Wheelie. Stay tuned. Rodham Spiel here, and today we're going to review on the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Autobot Wheelie. First, a look at the package. There is Wheelie with his slingshot and the Autobot logo, Generations. And it is the Transformers the Movie logo <clears throat> there and here. Autobot Wheelie 8 Plus Transformers Hasbro. On the side you have his face and it says Core Class in all the different languages. <clears throat> there is a full body drawing of Wheelie. There's the UPC if anybody wants it. <clears throat> and it is Autobot Wheelie. Includes figure, accessory, and instructions. So, Autobot, robot to car in 12 steps. Now, I haven't opened this figure yet, so we're going to open this on package. <coughs> all right. All right. So, we're going to open all this out. All right. So, first we got the instructions. Uh, Studio Series, Transformers Movie, Autobot Wheelie. Now, sometimes if they can't trademark the name... They will put Autobot or Decepticon in front of it. <clears throat> and that is what happened here. So, <clears throat> Slingshot goes in his hand. And then you got basically <clears throat> the, tra the transformation. And it looks like when he's in car mode, he keeps the Slingshot there. <clears throat> and there he is. Alright, I, was, I wasn't going to get this move, this figure, but I figured... Haven't done a video in like two weeks, so I might as well pick them up and do it. Now, as you can see with most studio series, there is a backdrop. And they just do the backdrop the way this guy was packaged on. And it looks like it could be Junkie on. Because <clears throat> that is where the Autobots found him. Or he found the Autobots, actually. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to take this off. And I missed one on the waist. I usually don't do this on unboxings, but... And, okay, so that's done. And here's his slingshot. <clears throat> so we'll put that away. A little stand-up wheelie. And first, take a look at a slingshot. Uh, pretty cool accessory. Uh, just gray. It's got some detailing on it. I don't want to get too close, but you can see it, and it just fits in his hand. There. And, uh, oh wow, we'll look at, I guess we'll take a look at this figure as soon as I get used to it. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see, you put it, oh, there it goes. Let's put the slingshot in his hand and try to pose him like we see on the box. Ah, there it goes, and basically, he's got pretty posable, so you could want to do, uh, I guess that's the best you can do. Um, like, well, we'll figure it out once I have time to play with him. <clears throat> I just want to do this part on camera. Alright, so, we'll take a look at Wheelie. Always has his little hat on. Uh, the colors are weird, and he's not, he's like a, a muted, a weird orange and a peach color. This is the Autobot symbol, so you got that different shades of orange going down there. You got some gunmetal gray on the kneecaps and the feet. The hands are silver. Uh, he does have the butt everybody complained about when they saw it, but actually in person, it's not too bad. Going around, you can see the all four wheels. <clears throat> you got the arms. And let's see, articulation is the head does 360 degrees. And I guess this is part of the transformation. You can go up and down. <clears throat> the arm does a 360. You can bend it 90 degrees. The elbow, and this rotates around. The hands don't do anything. Other arm, 360 degrees. It goes out that far. It goes 90 degrees, and it actually tabs in, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's see, nothing at the waist. So foot, he's got high uh, foot, back, really don't because the butt of the, of the uh, car. Not really the full split, 
but he does have a little more than 90 degrees on the knee and his foot uh, tilt up and down here's the other side that that and that so he's a pretty cool figure I guess <clears throat> I mean we'll go more in the comparisons later <clears throat> But he definitely is a step up from the wheelie we got with the Studio Series Leader Grimlock. But so far, my favorite so far still has to be the Titan's Return. And uh, we're, we're, actually, we're just going to bring in wheelie through the ages before I transform and do some comparisons. Here is G1 wheelie. Missing his hat. And then we've got the Titans Return wheelie. And then we've got the non-transforming wheelie that went with Studio Series Leader Grimlock. So, this is my collection wheelie so far. And I think it, it's a step down. This guy so far is the best wheelie. But we'll get into that later once we do the real comparisons. But, uh, let's see if we can pose this guy. So, too bad you can't move this out. I'm like, his arm doesn't have that much. I mean, let's see. I guess you could do, let's have him look sideways. He's got that. So, there you go. You, I guess you can do it that way. So, in the movie, what he does, or on the show, he pulls an imaginary string. It's energy. And then he shows the, uh, the slingshot he shoots it so not too bad I guess but um all right now let's get to some now let's get to the real robot to robot comparisons and then we'll go to transformation all right for our robot to robot comparisons we're gonna start with the wheelie family so there's G1 wheelie Titans return wheelie and Studio Series Leader Class Throw-In Wheelie. <clears throat> and, like I said, this guy is my favorite. Uh, this guy's proportions are all proper proportions. He's got big arms and big legs. But this is more proportional, but <clears throat> this guy's my favorite. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in our fellow, there is a Hot Rod. So we got Wheelie and Hot Rod. Still don't like this figure. And we've got Optimus Prime Core Class. <clears throat> he is very nicely done too. Ratchet, again, the engineering on some of these figures is amazing considering how small they are. <clears throat> this is Pink Bumblebee, a.k.a. Laserbeak, or I should say Laserbeak, a.k.a. Pink Bumblebee as seen in Dark of the Moon, and I never even would have thought of making this guy. I mean, he was only in there for like, what, 30 seconds? And here is G2 Core Class Negatron. <clears throat> so, pretty, pretty cool. And, uh, let's get all the wheelies in for a group shot. Alright, now we're going to transform this guy into his car mode. Okay, now, to transform wheelie into the car... We're going to take the slingshot and put it off to the side. Next, we're going to take the arms and we're going to lock this tab into the back of the elbow. So we're going to take these and lock them in. And then we're going to pull this back a little and hide the head and close it back up. Now he's headmaster wheelie. All right, next you want to take the chest and extend this whole area out. Now this is going to be the this is the hardest part. Okay, take the toes and extend them. Now see these hips? They're on a little joint where you can move the hips. You just want to bend them in slightly, and what you want to do is you want to fold these two. You want to fold the legs together. And they got a tab in right there. So, once you tab these in, <clears throat> these should be just maybe at 45 degree angles. <clears throat> All right. And then what you want to do is this is on a double joint. So you want to come here and you want to bring this down. Now these two tabs are going to fit into here. 
And that all depends on the angle that you have it. And, <clears throat> oh wow, <clears throat> that was the easy part. So now this is at a 90 degree angle. The hips are maybe at like, I don't know, less than 45. So now you can bring this down, the butt flap, the hat, and it's gonna have a tab right there, and it's gonna go right here. So you take the arm, you rotate it, and you snap it in. Take the other arm, you rotate it, and you snap them in. And they don't snap in the greatest. They just soft click in. <coughs> and then you take the slingshot, and there's a little tab in there. So it's kind of hard to get this in the hole. And you got to get that. Let's see. You get that in the hole, and you push it in. All right. And the side doesn't like to click in, but there's not much I can do about it. Uh, let's see. All right, that's locked in. So you just want to get that in. <clears throat> and that, I guess, is going to be our Autobot wheelie. <coughs> um, it is what it is. What can I say? It doesn't really look like G1. I'm not really sure why they thought it did, but he's got the hands out. <laughs> kind of looks like the RC Studio Series for the Bumblebee movie. You just got the hands laying out here. Um, they could have done something better with the cap. There is the slingshot. Yeah, let's see the front of the car. Uh, let's see, pretty cool. You got the it snaps in pretty nice. You got the gray fender, I guess. You got the blue windshield, you got that Autobot symbol, the same on his chest, you got that peach color, then you got the, the orange on the arms. Now you think they would have, the back looks funny, the, the front is held by this metal pin, and the back, I'm not really sure what the back is, but it just looks different because they're, they're, diff they're not the same. There's the back with the slingshot and the hands, again the back wheel, I mean he, rule, he rolls pretty good. You know, he rolls pretty good. It's just I'm on a, a thick piece of cardboard. And the wheels do roll, but they look odd because they're different. I wonder if they could just use a peg here. I'm not sure why they did the difference, but there he is from the bottom. There he is from the top. Does he look like Wheelie from the movie? You know, at the end of this, I'm going to go find a picture of him in his robot mode for the movie. And I'll stick it in there. So you could judge for yourself. And uh, in a minute or two, we're going to do the comparisons with all the other wheelie vehicles and some cork glass figures. So you can see how it stacks up. But for now, I, I guess this right here looks kind of like he does in the movie. But the front end is all off. The window is all off. Anyway, we'll see. All right, now let's do some vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle comparisons. All right, and our first vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle comparison, G1 Wheelie. Now, I am missing the hat, which is the cockpit, but this is what these two guys look like. So this was the original, and this was a, a pretty, pretty accurate representation of the original. So that is how these two guys compare. And we're going to bring in the Titan's Return, which is a lot bigger. It's more of a more futuristic car. And uh, it, of course, you can fit a Titan Master in the seat. But you can still see the same similarities. And this orange is more truer to his original self <clears throat> than this one. And then, of course, this one doesn't transform at all. And then we're just going to bring in some other core class vehicles. There is Optimus Prime. We're going to bring in Hot Rod. This so far I think is it's my favorite character, but it's the worst core class figure. Um, Studio Series 86 Ratchet. The Pink Bumblebee slash Laser Beak. Now this is from another, this is Dark of the Moon movie. Ratchet's from the Transformers 86 and then I thought I'd bring in the Megatron tank. 
And that's about it for comparison. Now, before we transform him back, let's just bring in all the wheelies again. But we'll just do some side-by-side -side comparisons. There is all three wheelies. Um, I do like these colors better than this, muted orange. But <clears throat> there he is. So, <clears throat> I know the Studio Series is supposed to be more movie accurate, but I think they missed the ball on wheelie. But, now... Uh, as most reviewers, you watch, they always start in vehicle mode and work their way into robot mode. I like to start as they are packaged. So if you get these guys as a robot and you can't figure out a step, you can come to me and I will show you how to do it. Most reviewers aren't fair to you. You're actually missing something when they don't transform it both ways. So <clears throat> that's why I always do you both because one way is usually always harder than the other way. So to transform this guy, first we're going <clears> to <throat> unpeg the arms from back here. <clears throat> and we're going to fold them over. Again, they peg in right there. We're just going to fold them over. Then I'm going to take the top of the car. <clears throat> oh, let's get rid of the slingshot and move the butt up. <clears throat> then I'm going to take the top of the car. And we're going to lift this whole area up. Okay, we're going to separate the legs. Rotate these. Rotate the legs to the side. And then they'll split like that. So when you go into car mode, you actually, they're on a hinge right there. So, once you get them properly spaced out, you can turn this, flip the foot up. Turn the leg, flip the foot up. Now you got half a wheelie. Alright, and then nobody wants a half a wheelie, so let's finish them up. <clears throat> then what you want to do is take this whole section, bring it down like that. It's got these two, um, two tabs. We'll go into these two slots. Okay, you can come back here, pull this out, use your thumbnail, and you could pop the head up, close this up, and then just take the arms and just disconnect the arms like that <clears throat> and now you have Wheelie again he's, he's not a bad looking robot I mean like I said I wasn't planning on getting this guy but it's been two weeks since I got a video and my area doesn't have any of the legacy evolution whatsoever so I picked this guy up and decided to do a video on him plus I had all the other wheelies and I'm like you know what I might as well get all the wheelies so, that is the Studio Series Core Class Wheelie. And even with this guy, I still think Hot Rod is the worst. I mean, Rodimus Bill, Hot Rod, my favorite character, but I think Hasbro blew it on the Core Class Hot Rod. But, <clears throat> that's another video in itself. Alright, so if you like my video, please turn on notifications. Uh, like that you subscribe to the channel. We do Transformers mostly, but we have done Marvel, DC figures, we do Funko Pops, um, oh god, DVD unboxings, new toy sightings, I mean, there's over a thousand videos on my channel, just check out my playlists, I have tons of them, see what you like, and as always, uh, me, Wheelie, say, find friends today, Rodimus Bill, out.